Hey guys, what's up? It's Kay Jones here, and I'm going to be showing you how to get to the Dagonoff King Lair. You're going to need a rune throwing axe and a pet rock if you're going by yourself. If you're going with a partner, your partner can either bring the rune throwing axe and you don't need a pet rock. So that's cool. Uh, now, there's a couple reasons why people may want to basically go to Dagonoff Kings. Uh, for an elite clue, you're wanting to solo or you're wanting to go with a partner. And maybe there's another reason, but anyway, this is how you get there. So first you need to get to Waterbirth Island. So I'm going to show you there's a, uh, many different ways to get there. Okay, my map's frozen. That's cool. <laughs> okay. No, we don't want to do that. Okay, here we go. <laughs> you can go from the Ephraimic house right here. You can have your house in um, Relica, basically, and you run north to the transportation. You can go from the ferry ring and run, use the transportation. You can use Sears Village and run all the way north and use the transportation. You can use a Fremenic Province teleport from the Grand Exchange. I'm not sure if that's a thing. I think there is a Relica teleport, but I'm an Iron Man. I don't use the Grand Exchange, so... Somebody verify for that for me in the comments. You can also use your diary boots and from the teleport you to Relica. It's the hard and elite and basically use the transportation. My method is I use the house teleport, use the water birth island. Um, I have a little portal in my house. Gives you unlimited teleports and it's really great and I think it requires like 75 magic or something but it's definitely worth it. Now if you don't have that portal, I'll show you how to get there. You talk to Darvald. I think that's how you say his name. He said, what are you doing? They're going on expedition. Say, can I come? And he says, of course. And what did, I'm going to say yes. Okay, yeah. So that's what you do to get there. My recommendation is go ahead. And there's also, I believe, a, um, what is it called? Like a little teleport scroll you can buy in the Durand Exchange. It takes you straight to Waterbirth Island too. But like I said, I'm very unfamiliar. I haven't used the Grand Exchange in about two years. So double check if it's a Relica or a Water Birth. I'm pretty sure it's a Water Birth teleport. Okay, so anyway, you're going to go that northwest around, um, around this peninsula from the transportation. Boom, 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 around the crest. And here you are at this dungeon. You're going to enter the cave entrance. Now, I'm going to, while I head down to Dagonos, I'm going to be calling out what prayers you need. I highly recommend you bring a stamina potion. It's almost like needed, okay? So go ahead and based on your fear agility level, if you're above 70, 75 agility, you only need one stamina potion. If you're below 70, I would consider bringing two. However, that's completely up to you. Um, so here we go. You're going to enter the cave entrance and what you're going to do is want to pray protect melee. Some people prefer to protect um, range because these guys will range you. But you're going to go ahead and run northeast. Okay. And just follow my character. So north, northeast. And you're going to be passing all these diagonals. See, this is the gate where you need your friend to stand on this tile, and you need to stand on the other. If you don't have a friend, go ahead and drop your pet rock and open the door. As soon as you enter, make sure you pick up your pet rock. Continue protecting melee and run east. Like I said, if you have a friend, it's very nice because you don't have to have a pet rock. So we're running in this direction. Boom, boom, boom. And you're going to come across to these little door supports, I guess. So you can turn off your prayer once you're standing in this spot. Uh, the crabs are not able to hit you. If you're standing in this spot, they can. Okay, so next thing you want to do is wield your throwing, uh, your rune throwing axe, or a friend will do it. Click your special attack and hit the door to the very west. Just like that. Boom. And it will hit all the doors and let you through. Very nice. Uh, then the next thing you're going to do is, ooh, lordy, you're gonna turn off your auto retaliate too. Jeez, that's a bummer. And you're going to climb down the ladder and make sure that you're protecting mage. So once you're protecting mage, continue on west. You're going to be then protecting range. Just continue going through the ladders. Next, you're going to use the ladder to the south and continue uh, pray melee during this time because of the rock crabs. Next, you'll be praying range. Continue protecting range. Okay, so not the ladder to the south. Use the ladder all the way to the west. Ah. 
and just continue following the ladders. Continue protecting mage. Okay, and now protect melee and you're gonna be running all the way west. There's gonna be a ladder. There's only a couple ladders that you have to not touch. Drink a stamina as needed. Go ahead and protect range. In this situation, if you did bring Blood Barrage by walking, watching other Dagonoth King guides, you can go ahead and heal up on these Dagonoths. I have a Dagonoth King, King guide on my channel that you are welcome to watch for soloing. And just continue running. <clears throat> so for this whole section, you're going to be praying range. <clears throat> There's just going to be baby Dagonoths continuing. And once you go down this ladder, you're going to want to protect melee. And this is a good time to go ahead and heal up on these little rock lobsters because they're very weak to mage. But once you pass these lock, rock lobsters, go ahead and switch to protect from mage. You're also going to be getting hit basically by everything, but mage should be probably your first priority. And once you're here, there is the King's Ladder, where you go down that King's Layer, and there, that's where the Dagonoff Kings are. Now you can climb over this, this route, and this is like a little peak hidey hole thing, and it's really nice. Highly recommend that. And that's how you get there, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, and feel welcome to subscribe to my channels. I, I do um, basically... You know, guides, I do progress videos on my Iron Woman, I do a whole bunch of things, so check that out. Thanks for watching, guys.